Good morning everyone. It's now the 13th of October and it's a Friday and I'm pretty sure that when you were riding to work that the radio stations had a little bit more cheer inside of them because it's a Friday and most people on a Friday are excited. And in this good feeling time I want to deal with a topic that's very close to my heart and that is called passion through contentment. That's right, passion through contentment. I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but a lot of people, they wake up feeling a bit of emptiness inside, feeling a little bit like I don't have enough, feeling like there's something missing. Contentment is the fuel of life. You should have it no matter what is going on around you. And the only way you're going to get it is if you realize that you can have it and you can have it now. Be content with what you have. Learn to be content no matter whether you got a lot or a little. Because then you'll be zealous. You'll be full of zeal, full of passion. Because you've got what you want, you've got what you need. Even right now you have it. When you're on your way to work, think about the things you have, not the things you don't have. I mean, come on. How is the, how is the things you don't have going to inspire you? And yes, you can have dreams. Uh, about the things you want to build in your life. But don't let those dreams be la wrapped up into your contentment for life. Because then you, you're mixing these things up. A dream should be something you aspire to, something you work towards. But it's not something that brings you contentment. Contentment is something you have. And if you don't have it right now, ask yourself the question, why am I not content? And if you're putting little things around you about, I'm not content because I don't have this, I don't have that. Think about it. If you had those things... How does that make you any more content than you are right now? It can't. How can things make you content? The, the, uh, if you don't believe me, think about when you got your latest cell phone and how excited you were in that first few weeks. And now suddenly, do you still have the same excitement? The new car, the same thing? Contentment that's based on a material possession is not lasting. It's short-lived. Contentment that's based on a title is short-lived. The only way you get contentment is inside of you. It's a spiritual thing. You get spiritual contentment where you realize that you can be happy no matter what is going on around you. And you learn to be happy with what you have. It's a skill. And I can assure you that if you live with contentment, man alive, it doesn't make a difference whether you die in the next hour or you die in the next week or you die in the next year. And, and God willing, you die in the next hundred years. At least you lived your life with contentment and you didn't die chasing something that is not something you should be chasing. You can't chase something like that. You should just learn to live with contentment. Be satisfied with what you have. And I can assure you, when you start looking for other things, okay, and you think that's going to make you happy, then the minute you start re reflecting on something you don't have, you will become discontent because you don't have it. Clearly, you don't have it. So how can you be content when there's something outside of you that you want that you don't have? And you're building the fact that in your head that that's how you're going to be content. And I can assure you, when you live with contentment, you can be passionate in the workplace. Because you're not arriving at work with this vision in your head. Oh man, I wish I had that title. I wish I had that salary. Oh, I wish I had that recognition. Because then you're going to be unhappy. And you don't have to look too far to find people that have got things you want. So get your eyes off other people. Forget about their life. Just live your own life. Come on. Live for yourself. And for your family and your friends. But don't live someone else's life. Don't chase someone else's dream. Chase your own dream. Get your eyes off other people. And while they've been successful, congratulate them. Your time will come. I hope that you have a fantastic Friday. May you learn to live with contentment. May you reassess and reevaluate what it is that you're chasing. And may the dreams that you chase no longer be wrapped into the contentment you have. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you have a blessed weekend. May you enjoy it. May you have fun. And I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Even if it's not a work day for you, some people do work on a Saturday. And I really hope that you share this with other people that you know lack contentment. And I hope that I've inspired you to do something different. Thank you for listening and look forward to speaking tomorrow.